Hillary Clinton doubled down on Mr. Trump, though, and while she was at it, she slammed the rest of the Republican field. I know it makes great TV. I think the guy went way overboard, offensive, outrageous, pick your adjective. But what Marco Rubio said has as much of an impact in terms of where the Republican Party is today as anybody else on that stage. And it is deeply troubling. With me now to talk about this and more, Tara Grant, a Trump supporter, and Jamal Simmons, a Democratic strategist and co-founder co co of Create.com. Welcome to you both. Good to be here. Good morning. Nice to have you both. So, Jamal, I want to start with you and Hillary Clinton's comments. She hasn't come out swinging lately, but now she has. A new strategy, effective? Um, yes, it is effective. Here's the reason why. For weeks, we've been bombarded with all these stories by Hillary Clinton that she didn't want to have to talk about. And now she's getting back to the core issues, which is how does she make America better for the next generation of Americans to be able to succeed. So Donald Trump talks about making America great again, but then he spends all of his time kind of attacking other people. Hillary Clinton is actually offering plans, a $350 billion over 10 year plan to change and, and lower the cost of college tuition for Americans. Those are re that's real money for real people that will make the country a better place. Uh, uh, Tara, what do you think? Because Donald Trump came out and he says um, he supports women, he cherishes them, he'll take complete care of women. What do you make of those remarks? I think Donald Trump is a man of his word. I think he's a true American patriot. I think he loves this country. I think he loves our troops. I think he loves women. I absolutely believe wholeheartedly that he's got women's best interest at heart. Yes, no one is debating whether or not he has come out hard hitting against some women who maybe allowed their mockingbird mouths overload their hummingbird behinds. However, Donald Trump is keeping it real and he is waking America up, folks. Can you hear it? So, America so saying, is getting shook. I like I'm the sorry? mockingbird hummingbird thing. So are you Thanks saying that Megyn Kelly should not I'm have asked Donald I'm glad Trump you that question? It. I, I'm sorry, uh, Jamal, I, I couldn't hear over Jamal. Sorry. Oh, okay. Do you, do you think Megyn Kelly should have asked Mr. Trump that question during the debate? Oh, I don't have a problem with Megyn Kelly's idea, ideology behind the question. I have a problem with how she asked it. I mean, come on, Carol, you know as well as I do, there is a right way of asking a question, and then there is a left-handed, smack you in your face kind of way of asking a question. And Donald Trump took offense to it. I think everyone who supports Donald Trump took offense to it and kind of saw that Megyn Kelly, okay, Megyn, you're, there's a little more going on behind that question than just asking hard hitting, good journalistic questions. Come on. Okay, so, so Tara, your supporters seem to have a lot of clout because Mr. Trump talked to Roger Ailes and they came to a, you know, this moment of Trump or Fox is going to be more fair and balanced toward Donald Trump. So Jamal, in your mind, did Fox News cave to Donald Trump? What happened there, do you think? You know what happened? Donald Trump rates. He does really well in the ratings. He gets great, Absolutely. you know, uh, uh, attention from people in the 25 to 54 demo. So people want to have him on television. Fox knows he's got a whole bunch of conservative viewers out there who want to have, who want to see Donald Trump. And so, yes, they absolutely cave. But here's the problem. Donald Trump is, is, is says that he's wants to be president. He says he's a tough fighter and negotiator, but if he can't take tough questions from Megyn Kelly on a debate stage, how is he going to battle the mullahs in Iran? Oh, how I is definitely he gonna, think... How is he going to battle the, you know, the, the Vladimir Putin? They're much tougher questions that have to be answered about the future of America as a power on the planet than anything he's going to get from a Fox News host. But Jamal, come on, think about it. I mean, that wasn't a Vladimir Putin kind of question. That was a, hey, I'm going for your jugular. You know, come on. That was an, uh, it Listen, was a Do Donald disgusting, Trump admitted it was a disgusting, it was a disgusting question. And Donald Trump said, hey, if you're going to be a big girl and you're going to ask big girl questions, then you know what? Put your big girl panties on and come on and be able to go. Listen, back I think I, I, I think that uh, I think that Megyn Kelly is a very tough woman. She can handle herself very well against Absolutely. Donald Trump. Absolutely. That's not really that's, that's not really the issue here. The <laughs> issue here is whether or not Donald Trump has the skin that's tough enough to be able to manage and have the temperament oh, to be president Trump of the United States. Well, and it's well, very Tara, clear Tara, that he doesn't. I'd like to ask Tara this question. 
because Absolutely. this was in the National Journal just the other day. The National Journal featured an article titled, Trump is a buffoon, his backers are not. Ron Fournier writes that he gets where Trump supporters are coming from. But he says, here's the rub. Is Trump really something better? Is he the best you can do? Wouldn't you prefer a more credible vessel for change? Can you address that, Tara? Un, what, what makes him uncredible? That's, I mean, that's what I don't understand. He's a very credible person. He has made hey, billions. Tara. He has built all kinds. He has built multiple companies. Guys, he is very Tara. credible. The Tara. fact is, he is not being politically correct. Hold on. Let me finish my thought, Jamal. You know what? At the end of the day, he is not going to play by every other politician's rules, mainly because he's not a politician. He is Tara. coming at it, and he is speaking my speak. He's speaking all those Americans who have gone for the last seven years that we did not have a voice. If we did actually voice our opinion on anything, we were too white, or we were too Christian, or we were too this, or we were too this. We were a bigot, we were a hypocrite, we were this. We were not politically correct. And he is now giving veterans a voice. And that's a first in seven years. He is now giving veterans of the United States of okay. America a so voice. That's a, that's okay, so, Jamal, so, last word. A voice. So, 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 so Margaret, my question is, well, then what is Donald Trump's plan to fix veterans' health care? What is Donald Trump's plan to get kids into college? What is Donald Trump's plan? Well, we plan are very early. To, what is that? Hold on a second. Hold on, so hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sarah, hold on one second. You had a lot of time to talk. What is Donald Trump's plan to make sure small business owners, not the big business boys and girls that he plays I with am golf a small with, business but, what, but what's his, so what's his plan to make sure you have more financing and more opportunity to get your products to market? What's his plan for All those I, things? You know what, and Donald Trump over the next year will have a, I mean, he'll have access to develop those plans or, or he will have a platform to tell us everything we need to know about his plans. But right good luck now, with that. everyone, well, you know what? And good luck. I mean, it's, 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 see that right there. You guys can't make it past sound bites. And that's the problem because he's not playing a politically correct game. And everybody's like, oh my goodness. Well, I'm sorry. The gloves are off and Donald Trump is coming hard and fast and he will make America great again. You watch. All right, well, we have to leave it there. Thanks so much, Tara Grant, Jamal Simmons. Appreciate it. Thank you. Have a great day. You're welcome. You Bye too. Guys. Thanks, Tara. As for the Democrats, Bernie